So here we got a, this is a the wide angle lens. This is actually a 14 millimeter Sigma. It's a bit narrow for panoramic photography, but it'll work. This is ideal for photogrammetry. Okay. So it's not too wide that you get a lot of distortion and chromatic aberration, but it's wide enough that you can shoot relatively low number of images and still get a good photogrammetry uh, result. I'm using it for a panorama here. It works quite well, it just means you have to shoot more shots. You're better off with an eight mil or a six and a half than a, than a 14, but it does the job. The problem is, it just means we're shooting quite a lot of shots. So we'll start. Here we've got a, a Manfrotto um, 303 SPH panorama bracket. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a full axis, multi-axis panorama bracket. And we have a detent here at the bottom, which allows us to rotate on very precise uh, numbers of degrees. So I've got it set up, because it's a 14 mil lens, I've got it set up for 60 degrees. So I'm going to come around here to the zero degree notch. And if I was taking a panorama, what I would do, you can see it's got the zero degree notch there. I'm first going to make sure everything's level. Um, and uh, then what I'm going to do is I'll take my first five brackets or three brackets shot. And then after that, I'm going to turn to 60 degrees, take another one. Turn another 60 degrees, take another one. Turn another 60 degrees, take another one, and we're halfway around. Turn another 60 degrees, take another one. Turn another 60 degrees, take another one. And then we're back to zero. At that point, I've done an equ equator rotation. Now that takes six points of view to get around 360 degrees of the equator. We've got a gap at the top and the bottom because it's only a 14 mil length. So now I'm going to rotate the camera up to 60 degrees. But now, because we're close to the top of the, the dome, the, the, the zenith of the panorama, we only need to do three shots to get all the way around to get the coverage. Then I'll do a shot here. Then I'll turn it around to uh, 120 degrees, do a shot there. And then I'll go all the way around to 240 degrees, get a shot there. And then we're done. And then what I'll do is I'll turn it down 60 degrees. We're going to see a bit of the tripod, but that's just the way it is. We can take that out afterwards. I'll shoot one here, another one at 120, and another one at 240, and then we're back to zero. And what we've done at that point is we've shot an entire panorama, and if you've done it in five brackets, that's five brackets HDR, which were then taken to PT GUI to stitch it into a panorama. And that'll give us a roughly 12K panorama, which is nice high resolution, high uh, dynamic range panorama. So that's pretty much the best quality we can get. Obviously, if we were using a six and a half millimeter lens, we could probably do it in just four shots because we have 180 degrees vertical and we have enough horizontal to get the stitch overlap we need with just four shots. So it's very, very much faster. Um, like I say, this is a lens that's more oriented towards uh, photogrammetry than it is towards panoramas, but it works very well and gives a nice high quality result.